Welcome to the Finding Mental Health Care in Washington, Where to Start class. A team of case managers from Seattle Children's have put a series of videos together to educate caregivers on how to navigate mental health resources in the community and the different levels of care. Please note, this class will be discussing how to access resources in the community and not focus on services at Seattle Children's Hospital. In the previous video, Getting Started, we reviewed the levels of mental health care available in Washington. Another thing that affects access to care is your health insurance. This video will focus on navigating outpatient care, specifically understanding insurance. There are two types of insurance, private or state. When looking into cost for care and what to expect, it's important to understand these terms. Often when searching for a provider, you will see in-network or out-of-network with insurance. If you see your insurance listed under in-network, that means services from that provider are covered. If you see your insurance listed as out-of-network, services from that provider are not covered. It's always best to call the mental health agency that provider works for to double check insurance coverage. If you see a provider does not accept insurance and has a fee for services, this means that you are responsible for the cost of services upfront. Some providers may provide you with a bill you can submit to your insurance company for reimbursement. Sliding scale means services are still out of pocket, but can be offered at a reduced rate depending on the needs of the patient. For example, if they are low income. It is important to familiarize yourself with your specific insurance plan's mental health benefits. We call out Kaiser specifically because they really try to offer a one-stop shop approach and are not contracted with many providers in the community. By offering all their care under one roof, this can be limiting to those who have this insurance since there are only so many providers. Due to capacity issues though, Kaiser can make exceptions and provide authorization for services in the community if needed. For assistance in accessing services and to inquire about out-of-network benefits, we recommend reaching out to Kaiser Behavioral Health Services directly. In Washington, state insurance is called Apple Health or Medicaid, and depending on what county you're in, you'll be assigned a specific plan for care called an MCO or Managed Care Organization. It is very important to understand your MCO plan as this will dictate what specific services you can access in your county. Another term you will want to be familiar with is BHA or Behavioral Health Agency. BHAs vary by county and provide as many services as they can under one roof for mental health, such as therapy, psychiatry, group support, and substance use treatment. Be mindful that there are pros and cons of accessing care outside of a BHA. It gives you the liberty to be more selective about who you want to see. However, you may encounter difficulties finding additional resources, such as medication management and mental health group treatments due to there not being many community options outside the BHA that accept Medicaid insurance. Once you know your MCO insurance plan and find the BHA that accepts your Medicaid plan, the first step in accessing mental health services is to call and set up an intake. This process varies by agency. It could consist of a phone call for a quick screening of needs, placing you on a wait list, or scheduling an in-person visit to review behaviors and concerns in order to match you with the most appropriate therapist. In most cases, the intake coordinator will not be the provider for ongoing therapy. If you are seeking medication management services, it is common that a BHA will require you to access therapy sessions within their agency before placing the referral to a psychiatrist. A helpful tip when starting a search is to find a couple hours during the week to call out to different agencies, then be sure to schedule time to make any return calls or complete any intake assessments. This process can be overwhelming, but setting a schedule can help in navigating the mental health system. Once you're enrolled in Medicaid or Apple Health outpatient care, 
the BHA will be your go-to for services. Once you've started accessing services, if a recommendation for another provider is deemed necessary but not offered within the BHA, your assigned therapist can make the request and refer to an outside agency. For example, if the child needs a psychiatrist for medication management and your BHA does not offer this service, then they may provide you with a list of folks to reach out to or have a partnership with another agency in the community. If you need additional support finding a resource, some MCO plans offer case management services to assist in finding a provider in the community that is contracted with your insurance. Feel free to continue to watch the rest of the videos at your own pace. To continue learning about outpatient care, we recommend watching Navigating Outpatient Care, Finding a Provider video that comes next. Thank you for watching and please take our short survey on the class page to share your feedback on these videos.